work it out um, long form just to make sure that I have everybody on the same page. So again, guys, remember the x-intercepts okay, is basically when y is equal to 0. So I replace y is equal to 0, and I have 2x squared times x minus 1 cubed times x plus 2 cubed squared. Now, again, since I have a product equal to 0, I can apply the zero product property. Now, does it make sense for me to set 2 equal to 0? No, 2 doesn't equal 0, nor will it ever, right? So that doesn't really make sense. So I'll group the 2 as a constant with the x squared. So I'll say 2x squared can equal 0. So I'll set that as like its own expression. Then I have x minus 3 cubed equals 0. And then I have x plus 2 squared equals 0. Now, for each one of these equations, can I solve? Well, yeah, right? So I can divide by 2. I have x squared equals 0, so I take the square root and I get x equals plus or minus 0? Just 0. Is 0 positive or negative? No. So it doesn't make sense to do plus or minus. But do remember that you have to, enter, you have to use the plus or minus for other numbers. Just 0 it doesn't matter. Um, how about here? Should I add 3 and then take the cube root? Where? Oh, thanks. So then should I add 1 and then take the cube root? No, you got to use the reverse order of operations. You have to take the cube root first. And the cube root of 0 is just 0. And then x equals 1. Here, I don't subtract 2 and then take the square root. I take the square root first. And then it's equal to negative 2. Right? So I could say that the zeros even though I know that's not the portion of what I was talking about in this video. Um, but the zeros here are 0, 1, and negative 2. You could say the x-intercepts then are at 0, 0, 1, 0, and negative 2, 0. Right? Those are going to be your x-intercepts. Now let's look at the y-intercepts. x is equal to 0. Now this one isn't as fun as the last one. The last one, oh, actually, this one is as fun. Do I need to actually even do any multiplication? Because look at everything's going to be multiplied by 0 anyways, right? Y is equal to 0. Cool. So let's go ahead and check that graph. 